your top my what's your name? Pepperin, it's the lame, it's the cool, it's your breaking every rule, it's your everybody's fool. Pepperin, 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 marching in her own parade. Pepperin, she's like blood in a million. Pepperin, Pepperin, much too cool for seventh grade. Catch her if you can, Pepperin. Who? Is that that girl from gym class? No, that's me. Is she, and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, watching it her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. Look, a French poodle. Le Poivre Ann est une spectacle Pepper plus amusant. Can you disarm it? Uh, please. Disarming double-fused adamantium bombs was my master's thesis. But I need more time. Time is the one thing we don't have. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Give me a break. You could have used these? Maybe I was just warming my mouth up for this. Please! Quiet girl, you're ruining that picture! Sorry, mister. This picture was ruined long before I got here. Put simply, Revenginator is revolting, repellent, re-stinky. What do you think? Except for the fact that re-stinky is not a word, that was very good, Pepper Ann. It was cool and all, but don't you think you're being a little H-A-R sh? Milo, Miss Bladar made me the school paper's movie critic for a reason. It's my job to be harsh. Well, I for one think you were right about that romantic subplot. It was completely unmotivated. You do know what a subplot is, right? You wrote about it? I got the word out of this whole glossary of movie terms. I have three words for the director of Hard Asphalt. Get some talent. Macho mocho is mucho stinko. I'd rather beat myself on the head with a wooden plank than sit through this mind-numbingly bad film again. <laughs> <laughs> that Pepper Ann, she is so deliciously cruel. I'm Cameron Landisberg, the director of Macho Mucho. You said you'd rather beat yourself with a board than sit through my movie. Peppy, just tell the nice man that we're happy with our current religion. Plank, I said I would rather beat myself with a wood. You reviewers are all the same. You don't know the first thing about making movies, yet you dare to pass judgment on the rest of us who are out there trying. <laughs> don't judge me unless you've walked a mile in my moccasins, missy. He was right. I never have made a movie, and you know what? I bet I could make a better movie than any of those hacks. Of course you can, honey. You can do anything you set your mind to. I'm behind you 100%. Good, because I'm going to need a substantial amount of money to... Forget it. You want to make a movie, and you want me to pay for it? Yes, you'll be the executive producer, and I'll direct it. I've had Moose prepare a budget. Hmm, well, what's it about? Picture this. A guy, a girl, a coffee shop. Like the first buds of May, love blooms. Then, tragedy strikes. Ew, that sounds boring. Will it have action? Oh, yeah, lots of action. And dancing? I suppose it could have a little dancing. And a happy ending? No, no, it has to be a tragedy. Happy endings are the... No happy ending, no executive producer. Happy endings are the happiest endings. You're going to make your own movie? Yep. I'm going to direct it. Milo, you could film it. And Nikki, you could do everything else. Way cool. I'd be glad to help. We can get started this afternoon. I'll need a megaphone. What about the script? The what? The script. The thing that tells the story. It's like a book. You need a script. How else would you know what was going to happen? I thought I'd just wing it. You know, improvise. No, 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 that won't do. Take notes. The classic dramatic structure includes a beginning, a middle, a denouement, and an end. Aristotle said... 
I thought I'd never finish. All she wanted <coughs> was a decent cup of coffee. Fade out. The end. Oh, Pepper Ann, this is brilliant. I know. You must get the highest quality actors to do justice to these amazing characters. Of course I will. Craig and I are going to star in it. Sissy? She is perfect for the lead female role. Don't you think? Well, when I was writing the role of Natasha, a red-headed astrophysicist just trying to find a decent cup of coffee in this topsy-turvy world, I was thinking... Good. Sissy it is. Oh, and Craig's out, too. He didn't come to my last party. The male lead is going to wane the top. What? No way is that loudmouth freak gonna be the lead in my movie. No, mm, mm forget it. Whose movie? At least you liked my script. Now we can start filming. Here you go, Mr. Director of Photography. Wow, a whole new medium. The screen will be my canvas. The camera, my brush. Friends, tomorrow we begin shooting my masterpiece. Wistful Rainbow. Natasha and Rico will come to life before our very eyes, meeting, loving, and losing each other at a cozy yet charming French bistro. A bowling alley? Nikki, what happened to the French bistro? They had to cater a last minute gospel brunch. Movie making is all about illusion, Pepper Ann. We'll dress the set with charming bistro accoutrements, and voila! No one will ever know. Lane three, your nachos are ready. The difference. All right, sissy. In this scene, you're slipping away in the microfilm, and the bad guys are hot on your tail. Got it? And action! Well, aren't you a cool, cool drink on a hot, hot day? Like, do you want this stupid thing or not? Cut! 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 Sissy, your line is Rico. You're the only one who can help me out of this pickle. I know, but I changed it because that's not like how real people talk. Yeah! Who wrote this junk anyway? Script doctors! Chill out. They just made some of the jokes funnier. The Pentagon? This is a whole different story. You're exaggerating. The only parts that were changed are the pink pages. The white pages are your original work. One page? That was a really good page. Arr! Milo, this scene stinks. This script stinks. This movie stinks. It's not as bad as you think. It's actually pretty good. You've managed to let everyone have their input. The final product will be a harmonious melding of all our creative forces. Okay, people. If you look at your revised script, you'll see that the scene by the cappuccino machine has been moved to the Pentagon vault. Well, I thought that shoot would kill me, but here we are with the raw footage that will soon be edited into my masterpiece. What up, sugar pup? Like, would you take this stupid thing? Hang on, let me just fix the tracking. No, PA, I did it on purpose. Shaky cam, it gives the scene a more realistic, gritty feeling, don't you think? Oh, shaky cam. Would you excuse me, please? <laughs> Dear readers, I was wrong. I am here to admit that loud and clear. For weeks, I've been judging movies in the most negative terms when I didn't even understand the entire filmmaking process. Many hands are involved in the creation of a film. The producer, director, writer, actors, director of photography. All these people have a huge influence on the final product. I ask for the forgiveness of anyone that I've unfairly judged. Now that I've walked a mile in your moccasins, I truly understand. Hmm. Hello? Congratulations on your article! Cameron Landisberg? So, how did it feel to actually do something instead of sitting around criticizing others? Terrible. My movie came out terrible. Don't sweat it. We don't do this for external rewards. We do this for ourselves. We do it for our art. I hear you, man. For our art. Hmm. Well, I'd better get going. I've got to count my money. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five.
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aren't you coming down for the screaming, Pepper Ann? No, it's awful. Come on, it might not be as bad as you think. You're just saying that to make me feel better. Yes. Step back, baby. Daddy's disarming. Witch wire. Witch wire! Strike! <gasps> One potato, two potato, three potato, four. <gasps> I did it! Sing my praises! Oh, oh, yes! You liked it? You really liked it? Did you hear that? It was so bad, it was great! You made a wonderfully campy movie. No, we made a wonderfully campy movie. And if they like this one, just wait till cool summer strikes back with a vengeance comes out. Picture it. Our bomb-disarming heroes are back, but this time, they're not taking any prisoners.